Hey guys, Mike with BKBoatAndSleds.com here. Today I'm going to show you how to clean an exhaust valve. Um, this one will be specifically for an 01 player 600 Liberty motor. Uh, I'll explain some of the differences on some of the other types of sleds uh, like Skidoo or even other Polaris's. Um, I've already started here just because th this specific kind is kind of a pain in the butt. Pretty much it's just these two 10 millimeter bolts. Problem is you gotta just slowly spin them off because you can't get them out. So that's why I've, I've literally just removed those those two bolts. And what happens is this will pull out. If the gasket stays on, that's fine. Don't uh, don't screw with it, and you probably could get away with reusing it. <clears throat> now these valves are actually pretty clean. When you go to reinstall them, you, this specific kind you can't even put in upside down. It'll only let you go right way. However, there are others out there that you can put it upside down. Some are marked top, some aren't. Just note the orientation when you pull it out if it's not idiot proof like this one is. Uh, these actually look fairly good. Um, I would clean this this carbon off here. Uh, what actually works pretty good to clean this stuff off is, um, believe it or not, is an oven cleaner. Um, if you don't have that, standard carb cleaner will work. And I use one of these scotch pads. You don't want to use something too abrasive I wouldn't use a wire wheel on this, uh, some people do, but it is just aluminum. You don't want to leave a bunch of score marks in it, so I'd be careful with uh, with what you use to clean it. So literally clean it and put them back on and tighten those bolts down. Um, on other slides, in fact, uh, this same motor, I think in, in 02 or 03, this is slightly different and uh, there's um, there's there's four bolts, but these two are on the outside. It makes it actually real easy. You only have to remove the two outside that go into the motor. Same idea that it'll pull out. On a Skidoo, there is a metal uh, clip that comes up and holds this front cap on. If you slide the clip down over the center of it, that front cap will just pop off. Sometimes you have to pop it off one of the ears on the sides. It'll make sense if you're looking at it. Once that's off, there's a few different styles. Sometimes you have to actually remove the bellow uh, which is under there and it's just literally held on by a spring sometimes it's held even on by zip ties depending on uh, what make or model is or, or if someone's cleaned it and broke the springs um, take that zip, or zip tie or springs off and you can move that bellow aside uh, and and get to the it'll be a, a uh, allen key once you get to the allen key same idea this will pull straight out Skidoo is, is better known for ones that can go in upside down they are usually marked top on them, so just again watch for that. Um, and again, clean them with something not too abrasive, and uh, put it back in. The other trick to the Skidoo one is if you get a Torx tool that has a ball end on it, you usually can come in from the side. And you don't even have to remove the um, the bellow or anything, and you can you can pull it out um, just because the, the that tool lets you in there. These look pretty good. And this is the number one reason why you run, in, if you have a power valve motor, you run an oil that has a detergent in them specifically for power valves. But I'll tell you what, it makes it a whole heck of a lot easier to clean these things if you're running good oil. And uh, I haven't cleaned these in, in over a couple thousand miles and they look pretty good. So, good example uh, of why you run a good oil. And the other thing you want to check in here is once these are running, when your motor is back on and running, you shouldn't see any smoke coming out of these exhaust ports. That tells you you got a, a leak in one of the bellows, and it'll totally rob your power. If you're if you're uh, weak on power in the the mid to, the mid to upper range, or it feels like your sled doesn't go over you know x mile mile an hour, check to make sure you're not leaking any any oil or any uh, exhaust out of here. And a lot of times, if you are, it'll leave stains on your hood too from where it's puffing the oil out. So something good to check if you you know if you're lacking power uh, in the mid to top end range. Um, a cracked bellow will definitely do that. It's an easy fix. Just undo those four bolts and put a new bellow on. New bellows aren't very expensive. We stock them here uh, aftermarket as well as OEM. So that's it. If you got any questions specifically about your power valves, uh, feel free to give us a shout. 815-363-1254. And then we're always online, bkboatandsleds.com. And again, if you got any questions, you can also leave a message right here under the video, and uh, we'll do our best to get back to you. Thanks, guys. Have a good uh, good rest of the season sledding. And um, as always, we sell new and used aftermarket OEM parts. And we'll get you on the trail as fast as we can. Have a good one.